Hi there, everyone. Hello, this is Heinz. Uh, I've been playing Plate Up again. Um, just wanted to do a very quick little update video because this is a, a map that I've been working on. Um, as you can see, things have gone through quite a lot of changes if you've previously seen this kitchen. Um, yeah, the bread's been rotated around, so now these three front counters, like the, the two conveyors, sorry, and this counter, all ended up with um, toast already plated up. So that makes it easy for both the top server to serve and the bottom server to serve. Um, if the person up top needs a couple of pies, I can use the tray, grab a couple of pies there, um, throw it up or something, just give it to them, you know, drop it on the sink and then they can grab the pies sort of thing, you know. Um, as far as soups go, because obviously I've got three, well I've got four freezers, but that one's up there, so I always start the day with a loaf of bread ready to start being portioned off and then cooked. So, uh, tell you what, if I go to practice mode, and you can see, so the pie is automatic as well, so the pie was semi-automatic before and used to just go in there, in this little gap there, and used to chop the apple yourself. Obviously here, this is where I can grab the bread. Um, so this. Oh, I see. Right, K does the quick practice mode. Whoops. Bear with me 20 seconds. I should have been more prepared than this. I'm going to use my controller because it's a lot easier than the keyboard the controls that I don't know. Okay. Come to me, Xbox controller. <laughs> right. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, it doesn't matter if I bring in a new chef or not. There we go. We'll remove the input. Just get rid of that. Okay, so. We're back in the room. Right. So yeah, I've got two soups always prepared. That gets portioned off, so it takes one portion out. So what I do first thing, let's go back to practice. I grab this here tray. I grab two portions. I drop that down. That is now ready to be refreshed. That goes in there. We'll chop that, we'll throw it in, and then we'll throw that in, and then that's the fresh soup, all ready to go. And it doesn't get much more seamless than that. Oh, you want a soup, do ya? There you go, see, how about that? Well, I know that they're both going to want... I know they're going to both want that, aren't they? So, there you go. Scrubbing brush, boom. That's the only thing I haven't got the, the plates moving up into there. If I did, then that'd be awesome. <laughs> but you get the gist. You get the gist. It's, it's a pretty slick little system. Obviously this table here is the one that has sides. Well, guess what? You can make a side. You can make onion rings. You can make fries. You can make corn on the cob. You know? Easy peasy. I mean, you can even start a fresh soup off. You see what I mean? And then once that's ready, if, if you need an extra soup, that is. Once that's ready, it can be brought down, chucked on there, and then sort everything else out, you know what I mean? Now, I mean, but that shouldn't be too much of a, 
that shouldn't be too much of a thing the way we've got this set up now. Double soups. Uh, I haven't showed you the bread, right? So that's, yeah, so if I'm here, I can pass it there and then the next guy can grab it. Really, this is like the dividing line. Um, for bread, you just do that. Job done. The bread is done. The toast is done. He wants a soup as well. Okay, have a soup. Have a soup. Have a soup, mate. It's too good, right? <laughs> um, yeah, but you don't want to leave that there, do you, Gary? You know the dog, are you, Gary? Right, so there we go. Done, 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 done. Beautiful. MLG. Okay, so let's look at this. Obviously, everything in the bottom left, spare items. And these aren't these aren't like spare items that I've just ended up with willy nilly. No sir, no sir, he don't. But um, <coughs> fancy tablecloth on the left. Obviously, I had four. Uh, I'd yeah, fancy tables before. But just to get them done a little bit quicker, so we've left one as a fancy, and we've added the extra round table in to avoid as many side dishes. <coughs> Excuse me. Need a drink there, Christ. Okay, so... Inside these here, so that's a spare tray stand that we don't really need. That's a mixer. That's my... rotating grabber. Oh, I've got two rotating grabbers. Well, how's about that then? This one only costs four dollar. The other one doesn't. And this can, oh, this can upgrade again. What does an up? I thought it became a smart grabber. Then it becomes a so. What does it become after a smart grabber? I mean, after a rotating grabber. Don't tell me it goes back to being a smart grabber. We'll put that rotating one there. We'll pop this one here because this one can be discounted. So apparently we've got a research desk. Well, we might as well actually try and upgrade that one. So research desk, mixer, coffee table, which can't be upgraded. Oh, should put a coffee table in the back room so customers run all the way through the zigzag kitchen. <laughs> put coffee tables back there. So yeah, yeah. Uh, so I've got every type of grabber. I've got a teleporter, which is being discounted. It's about 313 at the moment. Yep. So we've we've got that down a fair way. We just need to get it copied and discounted one more time, and then it'll be like 300 bucks for two of them. So the plan is to then automate the soaps now. The last combiner I had over here was one that I was keeping spare inside my blueprint cabinet. And because I kept it for so long, I didn't feel like I needed it, so I didn't copy it. And I ended up needing it, so I ended up using it. I mean, so automatically he puts the, puts it on there, and then, oh my god! <laughs> oh. oh, that's the 
that's a shame. That's a shame. It was the only white way through. Oh, hello there. If I turn around, no. Ah, so that blocks the line. That is perfect. So what we're gonna do here is we could buy that cheap rotating grabber. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. This one was the one for four bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Four bucks. There we go. Right. We're buying it. And when Snow comes back, she's gonna be like, "Oh my god." <laughs> This is br that's brilliant. That is just brilliant. So we've got three robots out here. We'll put a, put one robot literally right on the door. Right, hang on. Yeah, the extra ones can stay there because because I said so. That's why. See, that's the thing, I've got an auto plate that I didn't use because, as you can see on the right hand side here. Oh no! I can't put the robot there. Oh, the robot doesn't go there, it goes there then. I still don't need three robots in here. This thing with the candles is hilarious, I've got to be honest. Let's do practice mode. As soon as Snow sees this when she gets back, she's going to... What happened to the candles? Look, auto dispense! <laughs> oh no! 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 It didn't really, go how, didn't really go how I planned. Now then. Let's try a couple of experiments quickly. Well, they're going to want toast, aren't they? Sit at the second table. Yes, yes. See, a portion of the breadboard would be pretty good, at, actually. I should have just tried serving the breadboard onto it. What a beavis. <laughs> it's better than the same butthead. So I'm going to put it onto there. Oh, ho, ho! So I can just put the food straight onto that conveyor belt. Well, I mean, it doesn't necessarily serve a purpose, but you could do the same thing over this side with the grabber at least you don't. just makes serving them easier doesn't it oh I like I like all this being clean as well uh, right leave practice mode 
So we'll come here, we'll grab an extra grabber. Poopy sticks. That doesn't work. Right, practice my one more time just to watch it all work. <laughs> I like I like that though. It's nice. It is nice. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, you get out of my kitchen. Out of my kitchen, out of my kitchen, out of my kitchen. Right. Okay. Well, I'm sorry the video's dragged on a little bit here and it's kind of been a little bit meandering, but you kind of get the idea. So, originally all of the whole bread area was against this wall and all of the veg was, you know, a big long corridor on the down this section here, that was the corridor, everything was grabbed there, and plates was cleaning was done here, and the breadboards were there, it, so it was just it was just a bit awkward because you'd have to go around everything. This isn't too bad, you still have to go around a few things, and this is still a choke point, but if one person stays here, and the other person stays here, you know, divide it north and south, it works. It really, really works. I mean, I'm really confident that we're going to be able to do the next night now. Once Now that we've got these changes. Because we've tinkered with this setup so many times. And I was just like, oh, I've got to get it automated. Like, with plates as well. So, that was a real, real work of art. As I said about the pies, you know, um, I started off with just the flour going into the, you know, mixer, and then the mixer onto the hob, and then I was just chopping an apple and throwing it on. Then I got a combiner and was like, yep, I can chop an apple, put it on the combiner. The combiner puts it into the pastry, that pastry cooks into a pie, but before that pie is cooked, you can put another chopped apple straight onto the combiner. So it'll effectively make two pies while AFK, you know, while you're doing other stuff. So, um, we finally got more mixers, and then it was a case of, do we upgrade it and try and get a conveyor mixer? In which case, we'd have replaced all of these mixers with conveyor mixers, and made it even more compact and super swish. Um, unfortunately, that was not possible, so... See, I mean, see those two, um, these two uh, conveyors, the two rotating conveyors there. With a conveyor mixer, you don't need that because you just put the conveyor mixer where the mixer is, and then everything here can sink back, you know, flush with the wall. And then that makes the whole entire operation, you know, two by four wide on one side and 2x4 wide on the other side with like a nice little recess of 4 so it sits in nicely and it goes around corners and things, it's just a nice little nice little thing once I um, once I realised 
that I'd be chopping off my um, chopping off, cutting off my access to the the flower. I just decided to put another grabber guy in the other direction, and it brings you straight over to the sink. Bread's done. Toast is done. So the idea is, uh, you know, bread can be done here too. Boom, boom. You know, straight into the oven. That one automatically gets taken off the hob, and then the hob is once again available for soup. This one here means that the player up top doesn't have to worry so much about bread for the bread boards. I mean, I still need to give them bread boards. I mean, it might be an idea to get some more serving boards up here. I mean, that would make total sense, and I might suggest it to Snow for the next run. Uh, we should be hooking up again, hopefully in a little while, so with any luck we'll be smashing this next night. And this time we will have mixers to be upgraded. So this one gets upgraded, that one gets upgraded and copied. So um, you get two bites of the cherry basically. But we've got... We've got wellies, we've got work boots, bins, conveyors, grabbers, smart grabbers, rotating grabbers, coffee tables. We've got more blueprint desks. Um, yeah, we've got more blueprint desks. You've always got to have blueprint desks. Those flower pots have come in very OP. They are massively OP. This black flower here, just giving out black flowers to uh, customers on really busy days. I mean, look, it will say 24 now, but between two of us, that was like a group size of about 30, you know, 30 groups, roughly. So it was a lot, a lot more to do. Yeah, I just wanted to share this with you. It's been a fun little setup. I just wanted to share my automation. So, uh, yeah. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this automation. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed my incessant mindless rambling. <laughs> and if you didn't, then, yeah, tell me as well. Tell me that. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. And enjoy Play Up. Until then, stay frosty.